गुलाबी आखे जो तेरी देखी शराबी ये दिल हो गया संभालो मुझको ओ मेरे यारो संभालना मुश्किल हो गया बस ओके चलता हूं चलती ओके मैं चोर दे वीडियो ओके ओके सो गई सो गई गेंकी गेंकी कम ऑन In this video you are going to meet one of the most versatile maxed scholar for the year 2020 but before we proceed i must appreciate your overwhelming response on this video now without wasting time let us listen to the story of mr gaurav in his own words hello friends uh, my name is gaurav gaurav das mahapatra and uh, i am from calcutta india if i talk about my background by profession i am an architect i have completed my bachelor's of in architecture then i have completed my masters in urban and regional planning and then after working for a private architectural office then working for the government of andhra pradesh finally i was working with an university in visakhapatnam in the post of assistant professor and uh, at that time actually i wanted to pursue my higher studies phd and i fortunately i met a person in my university who was a max scholar actually the term max is not very common because people more people know about fulbright and rhodes scholarships and other scholars, commonwealth scholarships etc but max the monbu monbu kakakusha scholarship which is the scholarship from the ministry of science and culture from uh ministry of japan it's actually very interesting because in this particular scholarship when i read first of all if you can crack this scholarship you don't have to pay for your tuition fees at all which is very expensive in japan for masters it is around 10 lakh in indian rupees and for phd it is around 4 uh, or 5 lakhs but for all the other aspirants if you can crack it next if you can clear next first of all you don't have to pay for your admission next you don't have to pay for the air fare from coming from india to japan and from going back once also you will get a monthly stipend of 1 lakh 45000 yen which is very close to 1 lakh in indian currency so if you can ask me that how i prepared for the interview this i told how i came to know about the uh, max how i prepared for the interview actually in the website it is very clearly mentioned that what are the things you need to prepare for the participants in india first of all you have to put your uh, details they will send a format in which you have to fill everything like a uh, little bit about yourself about your publication about your research proposals some 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 things you have to send after sending you will get recruit you will get uh, scrutinized then if you are scrutinized you are supposed to go to delhi and appear for an inter this time i think it was online you have to appear for a interview interview means first of all before the interview you have to go through a english test it is not very difficult the question papers and answer papers are also available in the website so you can uh, prepare from that and after giving the exam for me after getting shortlisted i went to delhi i appeared for the exam and uh, i got shortlisted in that so after the english exam there was also a japanese exam which was optional so it is not mandatory to know japanese before appearing for the interview because they will take the best of the two i mean if your japanese if you are appearing for japanese your score is more than what you have scored in english you are very well your uh, marks will be accepted but for me it was english so the my research proposal the, the weightage for my research proposal and the weightage from my english score were evaluated and finally i was shortlisted from my division there are many divisions in mexed my division was architecture and from architecture there were only three people who were shortlisted for the interview for the final interview this is i am talking about the year 
and uh, then after three of us went for the interview in interview i was asked very very uh, strategic questions one most important question was how will your research help india and japan so that was one point next question was how why do you think that mech scholarship or studying in japan is uh, the most important thing presently in your life and then how will you think that you will get accustomed to the work style etc so friends i will just like to tell you that after this process was over and uh, by god's grace i was the only one student in the domain of architecture who got selected uh, i got a notification from embassy and after that the real hunt starts because you have to produce letter of acceptance from three different universities in japan so i fortunately i was able to secure that i mailed to professors with my uh, mixed acceptance and my research proposal etc and finally a professor from hokkaido university presently where i am studying now which is one of the best universities in japan and also the world it, i got a uh, call from them and i was scheduled for a uh, zoom interview i appeared for the interview and also parallelly i also communicated with the other professors so finally i thought that this university was apt for me because the lab because for phd the lab and the supervisor is most important so i felt that my supervisor is completely in sync with the research topic that i am doing and i would be able to fit in his lab and contribute to the uh, ongoing research so i finally i uh, sent the preference list with this university on the top back to the embassy and then they finally uh, i got accepted in this university and i was also fortunate that in this university hokkaido university we have something called english engineering program e3 in this program basically what we need to do you don't need to take any japanese courses for the coursework you can do your complete education in english so i think that's a positive point and if you talk about the shocks and the uh, contrast between india and over first of all this country it is very very cold very cold it the temperature in sapporo it went down to minus 16 and minus 17 unbearable unimaginable cold and but that is very it's a very beautiful place and some of the things which you should keep in mind if you are preparing for japan they are very very time conscious if something is meant suppose you have a meeting at 5 o'clock 5 o'clock means it is 459 not 51 so you should be you should reach or if it is an online meeting you should log in at least 2 to 3 or 4 5 minutes before the actual meeting starts and also in 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 japan the people they are uh, they welcome the culture of other countries and uh, their food their lifestyle their culture is extremely different from us so and also one most important thing about the language actually we should all try to learn a bit of uh, japanese so that it will help us in uh, our future if we are pursuing our course in japan because uh, not many people know english in japan and also one thing if you are talking to a japanese person in english if that person is not a fluent japanese speaker you might think that some of the sentences which is coming towards you might not be very very uh, structured or you might think it is easy meaning something else it's not like that basically what they are doing they are trying to translate each words literally from japanese to english and so the sentence structure might not fit in properly so be prepared for that don't get offended and uh, try to learn as uh, little bit of japanese as possible and uh, to, to to summarize actually it, it has been a very nice journey because uh, i mean uh, i think the research environment and the way curriculum is set is very very advanced in japan in comparison to the rest of the world and for all the mixed experience aspirants i'll just give you a small suggestion please talk to as many people as possible who have cracked mixed so that you can get more inspiration and you can get a varied perspective on the different things that will go on but finally to summarize i'll just tell you the f- steps which you need to do first of all you need to go to the embassy japanese embassy in uh, japan embassy in india that website in that website there will be link of the mech scholarship you need to apply and they will be giving sending you a particular there is a particular format you need to fill the format you need to send it after sending there will be a locked uh, lock locking period or a, or a window of maybe a month or 40 or maybe 3 uh, weeks after that they will send you a mail whether uh, the, your your name will come into the list i mean in the website whether you are selected for the second round or not so in the next round what you need to do you need to further re prepare your document in another uh, in a better format 
and then you need to take all your documents like your transcripts, your recommendation letter, your certificates, your research proposal, your publications, your thesis, everything and you need to go and appear for the interview. In that interview, there are two parts. First part, English exam and Japanese exam. So, I think most of you will take English exam. After that exam is completed and if your marks are good and your marks from the research proposal is also good, those cumulative marks, you will be put in a schedule outside the room whereby you will be told whether you will appear for the physical face-to-face -face interview or not. In case you get selected, I, I wish you all the best, definitely you will get selected. You can go for the interview and after the interview, you will get a mail whether you are selected or not. Then they will give you another period, another uh, lock period or the window of maybe a month or 45 days in which they will send you a Excel sheet with all the universities in Japan. In Japan, there are three categories of university, national university, public university and private university. So, of course, you can try to go for public universities or there are many good private universities also, public universities also, it's up to you depending on the lab and the supervisor. Once you are being able to secure it, then you need to find out that three professors should tell you, okay, you are good to come into my lab or my university. You need to submit those three things to embassy again. Then embassy will cross check whether this is correct or not and everything, all the things they will evaluate and they will send you a final go proposal that, okay, you can go. After that is done, then you can select in which uh, term you are going. Suppose if you are applying for October, there are two sessions, one in October and one in April. So it's up to you which one you want to select. So once you select it, then they will send you flight tickets they, and the visa is very fast for students who are traveling to Japan and then you are good to go. So I wish you all the best and for any further questions, you can definitely get in touch with me. I will share my email ID and uh, my contact with you. So all the best for your future.